In this video, we'll be looking at an ESOL Level 2 writing paper. Task 1 is filling in an application form, and we're specifically looking at Section 3 of Task 1, which is Previous Experience. I hope this video is useful to my Level 2 students or any other students, but I also hope that you might be able to take some knowledge from this video and apply it to um, circumstances where you would really be applying for um, a job. So hopefully this is going to be useful for two uh, different occasions. Okay. So previous experience, please summarize any previous work or voluntary experience below. And we need to remember that we write in sentences, not bullet points or phrases or keywords. Before I attempt to answer this question, I'm just going to draw your attention to the um, marking criteria. So in section three, which is what we're talking about here, section three must contain at least five appropriate sentences. So obviously you will be writing more than five sentences, but your examiner will be looking at five to be written at an appropriate level. What do we mean by appropriate sentences? <clears throat> we mean that they need to include complex features such as complex grammar. We don't just want uh, simple sentences. We want the use of linkers, discourse markers, in order to be able to write complex sentences, possibly uh, conditionals, mixed conditionals, all of these. The spelling of um, familiar words needs to be accurate. The spelling needs to be correct. Words that are used in work, studies and daily life need to be spelt correctly. And finally, you need to showcase your vocabulary to be suitable for level two. Okay, that's what we mean by appropriate sentences. So what I've done here is I have created, if you like, a sample, a format, a formula for what you can use to um, answer section three of the test. At first glance it's going to look a lot <laughs> um, but you'll see hopefully um, as, as we go through it that it's not that complicated. All the words in black I have copied again exactly the same. All the sections in green which are used in brackets are basically what I have used to input my own version or my own responses in order to create uh, my personal or my previous experience for this task. So this is going to be the formula which we are following exactly. You can learn this as well. And once we've gone through this, we're going to be applying for a job as a nursery assistant. And you'll see how I've used this formula in creating my actual response. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to start with four, four, and then I need a period of time. I worked as a, I need my job title, at, I need the name of the business or company that I worked, in, I need the name of the location, city, country, or area, where I was responsible for, I've got the word for, which is a preposition, we need to include a list of two or three gerunds. A gerund is verb plus ing. And we need a gerund because we've got that preposition for. So we list two or three gerunds and the rest of the sentence. I excelled at, this is a collocation, excel and at, they always come together. And to excel at something means when you are very good at something. You've had so much experience and so much practice that now you can do it very well, very proficiently. I excelled at, and then you go to list specific activities or qualities that you did in that job. Prior to that, so now you're moving on to the job before that, your second one. Prior to that, I pass simple as a, again, the job title, at the name of the company or business that you worked at, in the location, and then you've got a few gerunds here, and I'll show you what I mean by these, from the beginning until the end of the employment period. 
where you worked as your second job. So in the first sentence, we start with four and the period of time that you worked at your first job. In the, in the next one, we've got when you started working until when you finished. So these two sentences are basically the same. They are just paraphrased. We don't want to copy the exact same style of the sentence for every single job that we're listing. This role allowed me to gain great experience in the field, which I hope to transfer to this job. So all the experiences that I got in that job, I want to try and transfer and use them in this job that I'm applying for now as well. In addition to paid work, I spent, again, period of time volunteering at the place, the name of the company or charity where I worked in the location, helping to, I've got two, so I need the simple verb and the rest of the sentence. Okay, so this basically is my format or formula. Now I'm going to use this in <clears throat> inputting my own response and let's see how it turns out. Let's remember I'm applying for a job as a nursery assistant. For three years, my period of time, for three years I worked as a nursery assistant, my job title, at Head Over Heels, which is the name of the company, in Swansea, which is my location, where I was responsible for, and this is where we need to include a list of two or three gerunds, I was responsible for supervising, helping and teaching children in the nursery. So as you can see, I am following exactly this formula in my own response. I was responsible for supervising, helping and teaching children in the nursery. I excelled at being calm, communicating with the children and completing my jobs in a timely manner. So here in the formula I have I excelled at and I need to list specific activities or qualities and that's what I've done. I excelled at being calm, that is one of the qualities that I picked up, communicating with the children and completing my jobs. So these are possibly specific activities or qualities that I excelled at through practice in a timely manner. A timely manner, uh, these three words are always used together <clears throat> and they mean when you do something at the right time, you do not postpone it you do not um, want to carry it on and do it later. You do it at the right time in the best possible way. So therefore, you're showing the potential employer that you have very good time management skills. In a timely manner is a very good way of saying I have good time management skills. And this is a good form of vocabulary to use in your writing because if you remember one of the criteria that we needed was good vocabulary at level two and that will be able to tick that box in a timely manner. Prior to that I worked as a support worker so again I'm going to my sentence prior to that I worked as a support worker and next I need to include the name of the company, location and some gerunds. Prior to that I worked as a support worker at Barnet Community Centre in London. Here are my gerunds. Caring for children with special needs. From January to September 2015. From the beginning of the employment period, January, to end of employment period, which is September 2015. Now, both of these months are in 2015, so I don't need to say January 2015 to September 2015. I write my months and then I only add the year right at the end if the months are in the same year. Okay. Uh, here, I've only included one gerund, that was one responsibility that I had in that job, but if you had several responsibilities, then you would include gerunds, plural. Okay, this role allowed me to gain great experience in the field, which I hope to transfer to this job. Again, I have copied the exact same part of the formula. In addition to paid work, I spent... I 
I spent, I'm going to have period of time, I spent eight months volunteering at Oxfam in Luton, helping to run the charity shop. So I spent my period of time, which was eight months, volunteering at the name of the company, which is Oxfam, in Luton, helping to, and I need a simple verb, here I've got the verb run, run and the rest of the sentence, run the charity shop. And to run uh, a company, a business, uh, a shop, means when you um, are responsible for it, basically. You are responsible for the running, the upkeep and the success of that business or organization. Okay, so these are my sentences, five or six sentences that I've written. I have summarized my previous experience. I have not gone into too much detail, but my employer should be able to have a general idea of the work experience that I have had related to this job I'm applying for. Uh, regarding the test, I have included <clears throat> I have included complex sentences. So I have included sentences which I have connected together, for example, with um, certain clauses, relative clauses. I have included good level vocabulary. I excelled at in a timely manner to run a specific place. And I have included um, all the information that's needed, basically my job title, uh, where I worked, the location and the period of time that I worked. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you.